What's going on everybody? It's Michael Lindell here. Excited to be with you guys. Wanted to share some exciting news with you guys. I just heard from the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell. He released a statement regarding the state of our economy and where he's expecting the economy to be from now up and through 2023. So I want you guys to stay tuned because we have some very, very, very important news that you want to hear. All right. But first, I want you guys to smash that subscribe button. I want you to smash that like button. And um, I also want you guys to leave a comment because, you know, I would love to hear your feedback regarding how the videos are going for you guys and just any feedback that you may have so we can make this channel much better for you and for your family. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So the Federal Reserve Jerome Powell, chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell stated that um, right now they are they have voted to keep the interest rates near zero through 2023. All right. And the rates could be near zero through 2023 in a max that it would go up, it'd go from 2% to maybe zero to 0.25% to over this period of time, but it's going to be based off of inflation. So if inflation continues to uptick too fast, then they will come in and increase interest rates a tab to keep inflation from going too high. Because as we already know, the higher the inflation rate, the more expensive it would be to buy goods and services. So it will hurt the people who really don't have money versus the people who are investors and who have a lot of money and who have a lot of assets because it would ultimately benefit them because as prices of goods and services go up, the people who own those products or those services are business owners, right? People who have money, right? So it benefits them, but then it hurts the people who have who don't really have money, who are earners and wage earners. So the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell said that, listen, we're going to keep interest rates really, really low right now through 2023. Um, so th right now, this is a great time for you guys to buy real estate. If you're looking to buy real estate right now, it's a wonderful time for you to get in the market and find your home, find your dream home right now, because money is cheap right now. You can go out and buy you a great home at a very, very, very low rate. All right. So they are um, expecting the Federal Reserve also stated that. They're expecting to keep interest rates low until inflation rises. So again, we, we talked about this in a prior episode where they're expecting to keep inflation um, an average of 2% over the course of a, ne the next few years. So before they used to say, okay, we average about 2% inflation year over year, but now they're essentially saying that we, if we can just focus on a um, average inflation of 2% over the next few years, then that's where we want to be. That's how we can still meet our mark. So essentially year one, they will probably say, okay, we probably do a 1% inflation. Year two, we do 2% inflation. Year three, we do 3% inflation. But you know, as long as we average somewhere around 2% inflation, then that's where we want to stay. So until we start seeing goods, products and goods and services go too high, then we become and we we'll increase interest a little bit so that we can pull back the, um, the spending of the spending of money. All right. So the economic forecast change um, to show a smaller decline also in GDP. All right. So before they were expecting somewhere around a 6.5 percent negative growth. All right. And in, in 2020, right now, they're expecting somewhere around 3.7 percent. So the economy has come back very, very strong. People are starting to hire their people back, bring in their people and people are still spending money. And it's really coming off of the heels of the stimulus package. So and if there's another stimulus package, which they are talking about producing, if there's another stimulus package, then you're going to see another boost to the economy. So be expecting that because, you know, if that happens, then you may see them uptick in interest rates, depending on how much people actually spend the money on goods and, 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 and services. Also, what they're expecting, they are expecting a lower unemployment in 2020. Yeah, all right. So at first they were expecting somewhere around a 9.3% unemployment rate through the end of 2020. Now they're expecting a 7.6% unemployment rate through 2020, which is, again, it's ex exceeding the presidents and the, and, the, and, the Fed, and the feds is exceeding their expectations because a lot of people were expecting unemployment rate to be somewhere around 10%. Um, towards the end of the year. So this is wonderful news. If you are someone who's looking to get into the real estate industry or if you're, if you're looking to buy a home or if you're looking to buy assets right now, or if you're looking to, to borrow money right now, it's a wonderful time right now for you to still take advantage of that. 
if you are a business owner, it may not be as big of an opportunity for you um, because, you know, as if interest rates are not going higher, then I'm sorry, if inflation is not going higher, then your investments isn't doing as well. However, you can still benefit from um, the the zero percent interest rates. You can still borrow money and things of that nature. All right. So this is an update from the Federal Reserve, Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell during their two day policy policy meeting that they had to discuss the economic impact of the country. All right. So I want you guys to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Um, I just started doing these videos. So any feedback that you can give, I would highly appreciate it. If it's good feedback, leave it. If it's bad feedback, leave it. Who cares, right? All I'm doing is just bringing you guys the news and showing you guys how you guys can utilize what's going on from an economic standpoint and how you can use it to build wealth for you and for your family. All right. Love you guys. And I'll see you next time on how to get your money right.